Hi guys, it's a beautiful, beautiful Friday evening and we are back. Yes, we are back with a brand new episode of your favorite entertainment show in Ghana, Topics. I'm here with the ever handsome Nana Kwame and we will be taking you through all the biggest stories of this week. Don't go nowhere. Please subscribe to our channel and we will be right back. And we are back, guys, and we hope you didn't miss us too much. Yeah, I hope you, um, if you because missed me, I missed you more. I missed you too. <laughs> but yes, our fifth story for this week, DZ, DZ, DZ. If you don't know who DZ is, DZ is this, you know, plump guy, all looking fresh man dems, who Rich. is, you know, part of the... Afrochella crew, you know, that big, big music festival that has come to stay. Um, this is part of the crew. And for the past couple of weeks, he has been trending on Twitter. Apparently, Dizzy has been sending unsolicited dick pics to women. Yes, multiple women. Multiple women, not just one. Multiple women. So there was a, a space happening on Twitter and then all of us, they were talking about, you know, uh, sexual harassment and all these things and all of a sudden Dizzy's name popped up they were like yeah Dizzy has been doing it you just be there and then he send you pics and then if you don't indulge he blocks you and all that and it wasn't just one person um multiple women came out to say that yes indeed they had been victims to Dizzy and okay you know how Twitter can be it, it trended everybody was speaking their mind and all of that and then I think a couple of days later Afrochella issued a statement saying that they take um sexual abuse or sexual harassment issues very seriously and so because of that they are going to let they have asked DZ to step down from his role um and and whilst they investigate into the matter well we don't know what investigation they have done but you know afoshela is a right around the corner which is in December. Are you boycotting in support of women liberation and rights? I mean, better boys coming. And I, Activism ceases when the Bedu. I have to see my burner, but the African giant, I have to see Odogo perform. So um, I'm boycotting DZ, not Afrochella. But yes, <laughs> soon as Afrochella issued the uh, lineup for this year's festival, a couple of days later, we are there in these issues and apology. An apology. I'm like, okay, the timing. The timing. All this while, you didn't apologize. Soon as they said, I like, can you should come and pay how much, how much pounds? Um, you're coming to apologize. And people were like, okay, even the apology, you, were, you didn't even exactly mention what you were <laughs> apologizing for, for the communications. Yes. What communication are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Sending dick pics is communication. Right? <laughs> You didn't even apologize correctly. So that one too has become an issue on Twitter. People are saying, you know what? This apology, we ain't accepting it. Even though we are not accepting it, you will catch us shaking our asses at Afochella. So yeah, that's it. I mean, you heard her right, guys. She's shaking her ass as people are shaking off the trauma that Dizzy caused them. She is not for the cause. <laughs> No one better boy is involved. And guys, we are moving on to our fourth story. And ooh, Kevin Boy, the hit crooner is in the news again. And this week, actually, the media has been in the news right. for the support they give artists, right? So Kevin Boy is at a radio interview. And during the interview, they decide to bring his smoking habits into question and start talking about it, where he reviews he likes to smoke a lot. And then the whole he point, really does apparently. Yes. I mean, I mean, I mean, he gives hits. If that smoking hits, where do you think the smoke comes from? Right. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, a lot of Ghanaians on Twitter were going off at why that is even an issue to be discussed during the interview, and that you have Benna Boy go to these international interviews and are talking about things that matter to his craft, to his brand, how they are promoting the African culture and exactly. all that. Nobody's bothered about whether they are singing well, smoke? alcohol or... That is their personal life and people should stop using radio interviews as RME lessons. Thank you. Exactly. T for thanks. T for thanks. <laughs> well, that's not the only thing that came out during the interview. So if you've realized, of course, it's not um, very strange to not uh, have noticed or to notice is Kevin Boy has taken off the dreads or all the hair and now he's rocking a low-cut 
kind of good looking kind of guy. He's now a good looking, good looking boy. Oh my goodness. Right? Because right. I liked it. The oh, yeah, I do, do. Yeah. A bit, then, yeah. yeah, a lot of people do not know then why he would keep the hair, but he's revealed it now that he was doing it in order to sort of like be like Stone Boy. He admired him a lot and almost from a very f fun boy kind of perspective yeah. wanted to be like him so he wanted to keep the hair and it's not really strange i think it, it, isn't, it isn't there are a lot of us who you know exactly feel like even the dance or artist genre yeah. you have to have some type of yeah. look yeah. to be able to do it but we are happy now that he's going into being himself and being authentic even though some people think that he's copying other artists from other countries and reigned off this is for you right yes guys our third big story for this week is sarkodie sarkodie Listen, if he's not in the news for his fashion sense, either he's dropped some songs, yeah. either he's gone political and people are coming for him, this time, Saka Dier is in the news against the media. Which mm, is interesting. <laughs> Very interesting because I feel like Saka Dier has not been on the bad end of yes, the media, yes. right? Compared True. to other people, other people, he's had he's had it cool with a lot of them. But yes, in a recent you know appearance on Fire Stick, if you don't if you don't know who Fire Stick is, go on Twitter. You will know who Fire Stick is. <laughs> if you're like me, you wear Banku, you clearly you know the Banku police. Banku, you're not wearing original, you know. I know she's trying to show up, but it's fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yes, uh, Fire Stick had the one and only Africa's most decorated rapper Sakodia on his show on his YouTube show, and in the conversation, Sarkodie made a very valid point, which I agreed with, even though I'm in the media, yeah. I didn't feel bad about it. But he said, you know, there's been constant um, attack from the media. Every day people are going, oh, why is it that your, Af uh, your, your colleagues are, you know, taking their craft internationally? You people are behind. When are you going to also take the Ghanaian, you know, and all that. And Sarkodie said, you know what, me, for instance, I got the opportunity to go take my uh, stuff international because I had a Ghanaian represent, uh, representative outside that gave me that opportunity. He mentioned Komla Dumo. Yeah. He said his first BBC interview was because of, as a result of Komla Dumo. So if Ghanaians also have people outside the country, out there in big positions, they'll also be marketing the Ghanaian brand because um, when you think about it, in Nigeria, they have... Nigerians are everywhere. Nigerians are everywhere. They have people in every corner. So connecting them to the right people yes. has become very easy for them. And he thinks that if Ghanaians are able to also get yeah. that, you know, we also get it. So he said, you two, as I'm struggling to get out there, you two, you have been, for instance, if maybe you're a DJ and you've been in uh, at Adom FM for 20 That's years, so you have been moved. You haven't gotten the chance to even go to a bigger platform or anything. You are still there. You have no right. You have no right to come and sit down and say that, yeah, you people are not doing this. You people are not going international and all that. Yeah, exactly. And he had a good point. That was actually a very good point. And DJ Slim was saying, that was the very first time I was even hearing about him. But yeah, he came. He took it personal and said, you know what, Saturday, she didn't say this. You know what? It's an attack on the media and all that. And but you know, there was also a lot of support from other media personnel who yeah. said, you know, it's very important. And I mean, it's good. A lot of there are some media personnel who have moved from one level to another level. Some of them have been able to visit the BBC, even though you know they've done work for BBC, they've progressed. Yeah. So when such people are saying that you should also progress, at least you understand yeah. where they are coming from. But the rest of you that are stuck in this. Just keep quiet. And moving on to something that sounds even better. We like wedding bells in this country, even when the wedding is overseas. I know, and right? in this case, it is YouTuber turned very unpopular um, Pan Africanist on social media. It's Woody Meyer. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of his Pan Africanist ideas and messages, but he has done quite um, very um, good work on YouTube and with what he does in promoting yeah. the country. Well, that is not what we are talking about today. He has wedded. Yes, he got married in Kenya. In the most bizarre manner. <sighs> Dressed at the back of the sea. And at this point, I'm like, what, what is this? Was this planned? I'm like, okay. I feel like it was very planned to still retain a very, for lack of a better word, ghetto boy brand. Right. 
which it's a big day you need to come correct oh anyways very bizarre but the gifts were not very bizarre the gifts were very nice <laughs> so there you got that so with the man from the wife got a bedroom unit imagine getting married and your wife decides to say his that. wife's mother his wife's mother actually wow and then another man ah. gifted them an apartment a yeah. two-bedroom apartment yeah. imagine imagine that is not even it. They shared that their wedding cost $1,000 um, to organize. That is 10,000 Ghana CDs, as even their wedding rings were gifts from other people. This is a very well, heavily funded wedding by charity. Right. Which exactly. I like. Which I like. I love. I mean, this just comes to show how loved he is. Yes, he is loved. Even though at the beginning of the video, he kept insisting that Kenyans did not accept him at the beginning when he started dating Trudy. He used to get a lot of hate. So at some point, he felt like they didn't like him. But for him to get all these, you know, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. We, we, I mean, we love that. Imagine getting all that money from YouTube and all that love and support and gifts from the Kenyans. Finally, finally, we are coming to our big story of the week. Which is our number one story. Evangelist Diana Asamwa <laughs> versus her management, Friend Prince Music Production. <laughs> I like how you mentioned it. It's probably in tune with the Right? <laughs> because Evangelist is no more. Akuko Bunko Kroko. She's now. Guys, I'm here and I'm slain. <laughs> oh my god. Akuko Bunko Kroko. Guys. Don't mind us. We like fooling a lot. But yes, Evangelist Diana Samoa uh, over the week received a letter terminating her contract with Frame Prince Music Production. Mm -hmm. Apparently, they had been in business for 22 years. So a verbal agreement that they had 22 years ago, uh, Frame Prince was in charge of producing and marketing her music. And they had this long-standing, beautiful agreement for over two decades, and then Frame Prince on 4th August 2022 decides that, you know what, I'm sick and tired of all these things that Diana Samoa is doing, because in the letter, he mentioned that Diana Samoa had breached some agreements so many, on so many different occasions. He didn't tell us what kind of, you know, agreements or breaches there were, but yes, apparently, Diana no na swaye din si ya kasa <laughs> so Frame Prince said, okay, I've had enough. I mean, we've had a long run. This is where I end it. And so he sent the letter to Diana. And Diana said, Sound. And in the letter, not only did he, you know, um, end the contract, he also took charge of her Facebook page, mm -hmm. uh, stepped down from her, uh, her animal shows that she does. She, she shouldn't use their names anywhere, their company logos, all those things and all that. And all those big songs that she has and are now, uh, no, in, yes, his intellectual property now. So they don't no longer belong to Dana Samoa. And you would think that for, you know, these many lits on the termination contract, Dana Samoa will try to fight it. But she came back and was like, I agree. Basically, yes. <laughs> like there was no you should you know we have to no she just came back i agree and i accept all your terms i mean also in a better industry maybe she wouldn't have but now you don't even get royalties on the big song so it be intellectual property keep it i'll make new songs and i'll slay i have a brand ambassador that deals with wigs and makeup because now the brand is growing the brand is no more as she right? said I'll go, I'll go, I'll go. <laughs> Diana said, I agree and I accept. And yes, thank you for 22 years. Dana. I love that for her. Right? And then the next day, Frim Prince goes on radio to say that, you know what? The letter of termination of the contract, no. I just wanted to pull her ear. I didn't actually think she would agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what happened, guys. Yeah. Wow. He went already and said, you know what? When he sent the letter, he didn't... He, it was just a cautionary tale. He thought Diana would come back and say, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. What did I do? Can we make this right? And all that. But Diana just came back and said, yes, I agree. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> Such a boss move, Diana. Be careful what you wish for. Be careful what you wish for, Prince. Now you've 
prob I'm sure Diana is probably the biggest name yes. on, on your label. on your label, and now you've lost it. Next time, don't do me son ashe. Obe take bait, you know. Take bait. So now I don't know whether Free Prince is going to try and repair the relationship. He better. Or something. I don't know, but wow. <laughs> yes, guys. <laughs> These are all our big, uh, you know, stories for the week. We hope you enjoyed the show because we had a lot of fun. We did. Uh, you know, bringing you topics this week. Don't forget to follow us everywhere on social media at Amiel TV. Subscribe to our channel, Amiel TV Official. And hop on to www.amieldebra.com every single day for your constant update on celebrity news, lifestyle, and everything pop culture. We'll see you guys next week. We will. Take care, guys. Till next time. Bye.